let's start the afternoon session. So the first speaker of the this afternoon session is the Professor Hiromitsu Takeuchi from Osaka Metropolitan University. So he is going to talk about the isolated fractional scormions in a magnetic quantum gas. So Professor Takeuchi, you have 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for introduction. And first of all, I'd like to thank the organizer for giving me an opportunity to talk on my recent work and I'm very happy to join this nice commission. Okay. Let's start. So this is the animation of uh, this work. Uh, and I, I'd like to explain later. So this work is described in detail in this paper. So if you are interested, please read this paper. Oh, okay. So first, I'd like to uh, mention the main message of this talk. Uh, novel type of scarmium uh, realized in uh, magnetic quantum gas of spin one boson sign condensate, namely BC, with easy access to ferromagnetic isolation in terms of. Uh, in the world of this community. And uh, this is the schematic uh, diagram of eccentric fractional scormion, the novel scormion. Here, uh, we have an uh, up domain outside and a down domain, uh, up spin outside and down spin inside. And we have a uh, uh, with spin texture with spin singularity here. According to it, uh, and uh, we have a uh, uh, fraction scanning in this system. And the uh, name of extent it comes from uh, this figure. Uh, I mean, uh, the shaft or core of this texture is off center like this. So we call this as an eccentric fraction scan, right? And uh, it, this is contrast to the conventional scanning with integer charge. Uh, basically, uh, the scarmion in easy axis anisotropy has an integer charge and uh, structure is low tensional symmetry, uh, something like that. Okay. So, outline of the of this, this is first, I'd like to introduce, make introduce uh, introduction uh, on some topic related to today's talk. And the second, I uh, investigate uh, domain wall structure in a magnetic quantum gas. And uh, next, we uh, uh, explain generation and the stability mechanism of eccentric fraction scan. And uh, I'd like to make a summary and uh, some prospects. First, I'd like to uh, explain my research background. Uh, Multi-component superfluid, such as superfluid helium-3, binary and spinner boson sign condensates provide a rich variety of physical phenomena, which can be connected to different physical systems uh, through the following universal concept. Uh, first one is fluid dynamics. The second one is symmetry breaking. The last one is quantum effect. So a uh, collaboration among, among these three concepts can cause exotic non equilibrium phenomena. Uh, but uh, in the context of universal, this concept, right? Uh, so uh, basically, quantum uh, condensation in superfluid, uh, starting, uh, the formulation of quantum condensation uh, starts from uh, many body Hamiltonian in terms of. Uh, uh, particle, uh, field operator in the in the case of superfluid of boson, uh, boson condensation uh, is uh, represented as a, a single uh, mean field of a single uh, operator. On the other hand, for the fermionic superfluid, uh, fermion of fer pair of fermion uh, uh, is represented by a pair of uh, field operator, and uh, this phi plays the role of uh, other parameter of this system called macroscopic wave function. Okay. And uh, uh, in general, uh, symmetry scheme of symmetry breaking is described by lambda expanded bundle. 
uh, around the critical temperature. And uh, uh, in the case of a superfluid, uh, this kind of a potential uh, is introduced, so-called uh, Mexican Hunter potential or y model potential uh, associated with human symmetry breaking. Here, a uh, ground state of the system has a circular configuration. Okay. For complex color field, okay, uh, because uh, this is a wave function, so this this uh, field is a uh, complex field. Okay, and uh, in the case of direct gas, uh, uh, we uh, construct similar theory, uh, namely Grosz-Tewski model, uh, by introducing uh, delta function type potential. And we, we obtain uh, equation of motion called Gross-Pitelsky GP equation at zero temperature like this. And uh, then uh, we have a correspondence between this par random parameter and uh, uh, this parameter. Here, uh, equation of motion is uh, just a nonlinear Schrodinger equation. Here, mu corresponding to chemical potential related to the uh, long time prior for conservation of a number of atoms, and uh, this is uh, this, uh, this is comes from uh, this comes from uh, atomic interaction. Okay. This system has a, a macroscopic quantum effects, namely quantization of saturation. Uh, here we describe a radial profile or radial profile of straight vortex in this system, uh, the topological defect. Here is a radial uh, coordinate uh, from uh, the center of the vortex, and uh, this is the amplitude of an uh, order parameter. And uh, because of the sing spin sing uh, phase singularity here, uh, amplitude should uh, be zero at the, at the vortex attitude. Uh, this is a three-dimensional plot of the three-dimensional image of the field with Single quantum vortex. And here, NV is uh, called is called wind, vortex winding number, and it should be uh, integer uh, because of uh, the uh, uh, integer uh, because of the single variance of the wave function. And uh, in this system, uh, saturation around the vortex uh, should be quantized by a saturation quanta h over m and this is here is again a vortex winding number sorry <laughs> name, i have a future question about this the single vertex space the, the boundary of this the cylinder is there more suppression of the water parameter ah so depend on the uh boundary condition in this case i uh, this is not my simulation but this in this case i think this uh impose no Neumann boundary condition. I mean, I mean, gradient must be zero. But well, if we impose uh, directly boundary condition, uh, order parameters should suppress as uh, But uh, it's confusing that in the case of superfluid, uh, sup uh, BCS, BCS uh, the order parameters become uh, constant even in the uh, even in the existence of the world. But uh, but basically, so depend on the boundary condition. But in this case. Uh, it's normal from the concept. Here, this color shows the pain. Yeah, right? Okay, so, and uh, uh, it is known that uh, uh, single, single vortex with winding number two is analytically uh, higher than two single quantum vortex. Thus, uh, such a vortex is unstable and uh, Vortex is uh, typically appear as a uh, collection of a single quantum vortex. Then, uh, for example, we see a rotating state of superfluid. We, we obtain a lattice of a single quantum vortex like this. And uh, for example, here is the uh, experiment by MIT group, and uh, uh, we have a, a lot of vortex, and uh, all uh, vortex should be. Uh, uh, winding number of all policies should be one, and uh, uh, yeah, we have uh, this kind of lattice in rotating states. And uh, this uh, this system obey uh, 
Uh, so to, to demonstrate the uh, uh, nature as a fruit of this system, uh, we introduce uh, superfluid Euler equation. This is obtained directly obtained from uh, uh, transformation of growth scale equation. And uh, here L is the uh, density of atom, and uh, V is external potential, P is pressure. And uh, this equation is quite similar to the Euler equation for ideal fluid in classical fluid dynamics. And, uh, and, uh, and a superfluid behave like, a, therefore, a superfluid behave, behave like an ideal fluid with potential flow. Because the uh, velocity is written as a gradient of phase. This is corresponding to the uh, current velocity of uh, probability in the quantum mechanics. Okay. Uh, Actually, uh, uh, it is known that uh, quantum fluid or superfluid exhibit uh, uh, nature as a uh, uh, nature of uh, fluid uh, is showing uh, some fundamental flow phenomena. For example, uh, this is a famous uh, phenomenon of fluid called Kalman vortex. Uh, here, uh, cylinder uh, on, on the floor. At a background flow, and there appear policy uh, forming a characteristic pattern. Such a pattern has been also uh, observed in the experiment by Professor Sint's uh, group. Uh, and another example is uh, uh, Kelvin Helmholtz instability, which is related to today's topic. Uh, here uh, there is a two fluids with relative uh, velocity and the uh, fit codes uh, characteristic lower pattern between interface uh, interface between two fluids and such a uh, uh, phenomena have been also uh, numerically simulated in uh, two components both and same condensate both and same condensate here we have a uh, one component and second component and uh, with relative velocity and uh, instability here being here also instability cause uh, Characteristic wave pattern, and uh, but uh, in the later stage of dynamics should be different because so uh, both are uh, quantized in this system. So, but uh, in the early stage, uh, shows uh, quite similar uh, behavior. Okay. One question. Yes. Which parameter are you changing this one? Which one? This one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which parameter? Uh, this is so. What is T bounding? What does T bounding? The key, a key, a key dimension less time. Sorry, this is a time evolution. Sorry, this is time evolution. Oh, ah, sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, for, for example, this snapshot can be uh, can correspond to this wave pattern. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and uh, if we consider the both are sign condensates with uh, internal degree of freedom. Uh, we observe uh, a variety of topological defects. And uh, so we call uh, condensation with internal degree of freedom as a multi component superfluid. Okay. Uh, in the case of boson, such an internal degree freedom uh, is introduced by considering a spin degree of freedom or a different atomic species uh, denoted by this uh, index alpha or something like that. Uh, on the other hand, in the Fermi superfluid, uh, we can consider a, a, for the case of spin degree, we have a spin, two choice, spin singlet or spin triplet. And, in, and uh, we have an additional internal degree freedom related to the relative, called relative motion of a Cooper pair, which plays a role of internal degree of freedom. For example, in the case of superfluid M3, uh, we have a P wave state. It means uh, angular momentum, angular number of unity. Uh, accordingly, uh, uh, the degree of number of degree of freedom is three times three plus one to two, nine, nine, nine components in it. Nine components complex field. Okay. And uh, in such a multi component super system, we have uh, another symmetry breaking in addition to U1 uh, symmetry breaking of superfluid order. For example, the simplest case is U1 uh, symmetry breaking plus uh, discrete symmetry breaking, like a ferromagnetic uh, order. Uh, okay. So it means there is two. 
uh, ground state, discrete, uh, discrete ground state. And uh, in fact, uh, such a phenomena has been observed uh, in, uh, for example, in the uh, group here, case by Professor, Professor Choi. Uh, they observed a very nice uh, experiment of domain uh, coarsening dynamics, which is, uh, this is a characteristic pattern in domain coarsening dynamics, universally observed in the uh, phase ordering dynamics, for example, in the Ising model or phenomenal or something like that. Okay. And uh, in addition to the uh, increase of uh, number of symmetry breaking, we, we have also a uh, exotic type of topological defect in multi component supercritics. Uh, and recently, uh, Professor Saint group in Seoul National University observed uh, this kind of uh, strange structure. Here, uh, here uh, there is a domain wall terminated on the middle of a uh, uh, condensate, and uh, at the edge of the domain wall, we have a vortex with a winding number of half, uh, called the uh, half quantum vortex. And uh, uh, and uh, interestingly, uh, the equilibrium state of this kind of vortex uh, form uh, elliptic velocity field called quantum elliptic vortex. And there is a, a half quantum vortex, uh, two half quantum vortex here. And uh, this is a cross section, a velocity field on the cross section vortex. And uh, this means uh, if we see uh, this vortex in three dimensions, this we have like a uh, vortex. But not vortex theorem because uh, uh, velocity field in, on the cross, uh, cross section form uh, elliptic structure. And uh, in, uh, in this way, uh, in multi component superfluid, uh, exhibit a variety of structure, especially in the core. Uh, accordingly, uh, we have a different type of vortex core depending on the physical parameter of this system. Uh, for example, uh, in this, in, the, in some other phase called P phase, we have three types of vortex like this. And this kind of uh, phase diagram has been also obtained and uh, known uh, long time before in the community of super Three, here is, uh, yeah, yes. So in that sense, so this kind of uh, uh, appearance of a variety of uh, core structure uh, uh, could be a universal phenomena in multi component system, multi component order system. So let's turn to, let's turn to the main part of this talk. Sorry, uh, sorry. Yes. simple question. So uh, at the end of the day, you have many internal degrees of freedom, but yes. at the end of the day, you are still, after breaking all the symmetries, you're still looking at some new ones. Uh, yes, for example, so uh, mm, depend on the phase. For example, uh, this phase, uh, the ground state is only U1 symmetry breaking. But uh, for example, this case, this is today's topic, this is uh, U1 symmetry breaking plus uh, Z2 symmetry breaking, discrete symmetry. So depend on the phase. I see. And what about this uh, electric thing? Ah, yeah, this is the in the this phase. So oh. this is bar bar is just human symmetry breaking. So this is interesting. So in the case of human symmetry breaking, we have only vortex pyramid, basically. Mm -hmm. But uh, because of the degree of freedom in the vortex core, uh, we have this kind of exotic structure. Okay. So let's come to the main topic, main part of this work. So we consider a domain wall in a magnetic quantum gas. Uh, more concretely, here we investigate the property of a magnetic domain wall in spin 1b series, easy access ferromagnetic analysis. Okay. First, I'd like to uh, formulate, uh, theoretical formu make theoretical formulation of this system. In spin 1b series, we have uh, three components corresponding to Different Zeeman components, namely M equal to plus one, zero, minus one. And the uh, corresponding Grofitansky Lagrangian, Lagrangian, written by, by this form, and the characteristic 
uh, term of this uh, Lagrangian is uh, uh, this. Here is a nonlinear term of density and uh, spin. And the CN and the CS correspond to the, uh, uh, show the strength of the density interaction and the spin interaction. The other important term is uh, uh, quadratic Zeman shift uh, uh, and uh, linear Zeman shift and chemical potential. And uh, I, I mentioned chemical potential, so I'd like to skip uh, explanation of this. And this is related to uh, conservation of magnetization as a multiplier. So we can choose, uh, uh, so I mean, uh, so magnetic, total magnetization can be analyzed as a function of P, and I, we, we can choose P as a zero without loss of generality. And uh, uh, accordingly, we have uh, this kind of phase diagram of ground states of spin one BC for P equals zero. And today's target is uh, here, easy axis, ferromagnetic. Therefore, we have uh, two ground states associated with uh, spin density, direction of spin density in P, F phase. First one is a uh, spin up state, which uh, spin is uh, parallel to the axis. And uh, another one is a uh, spin down state, which uh, spin is at parallel to the axis. And, uh, and uh, we can imagine uh, a domain wall between two ground states like this, in this, in the air phase, okay? The problem, uh, so uh, similar to the case of uh, uh, a variety of uh, internal sources of vortex core, we can also ex uh, expect some uh, rich structure in the core of the domain world in this system. Uh, so the problem is what is what happened here? Yeah. To understand this problem in a systematic manner, uh, okay, systematic manner, we uh, uh, consider a uh, flat domain wall, normal to x axis, is described by this uh, under solution, uh, under form. Here, uh, Fm is amplitude for m component, and uh, because of the superfluidity, we can put uh, 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 expo exponential term here, which uh, corresponds to the current along domain wall, right? And uh, and uh, and we uh, uh, because of uh, in this session we have a loop for current velocity written by this and here we put us uh, correspond to the center of, uh, velocity of center of mass motion and we can neglect it, uh, uh, because of the Galilean invariance of this system. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the going minus is a uh, velocity difference between spin up and the my spin minus components, which corresponds to the spin current velocity in the bulk. Can you explain why we cross the niches? Uh, because uh, we consider a uniform system, and uh, this is a velocity of center of mass motion along the domain wall. Oh, okay. Then we can negotiate it. Then, then, then can I ask what's the physical situation that we minus is not different than there is a we minus why there is a current flow in the yeah we minus uh, non zero corresponds to the we have a relative velocity between plus one and minus one component because we minus defined as a v plus minus v v plus one minus v minus one okay. so this corresponds to the spin current in the bar far from the domain wall okay okay. Uh, and uh, as a result, this is, uh, I skip uh, uh, some detailed explanation, but uh, as a result, uh, uh, impact of a spin current can be reduced or included in the, uh, if, uh, in the quadratic Zeeman shift as a reduced QZ shift. Accordingly, uh, the, we can, uh, so I, I mean, by choosing Q tilde, we can investigate uh, the effect both of uh, Zeeman shift and the uh, spin current. And uh, by changing the uh, value of Q tilde, we obtain two types of domain work in this system. First one obtained uh, when uh, Q tilde 
is below some critical value of Q, QC. And in this case, uh, spin density, here is a up domain and down domain. Uh, here is a profile of uh, F my, my at one component and plus one component, amplitude, square amplitude of uh, plus one and minus two, one. And uh, in this case, spin density vanish at the center <laughs> of uh, domain wall, uh, constructing spin singularity. Uh, on the other hand, in the, uh, this, we call this as a AF core domain wall because here locally, AF phase appear locally. In, uh, so we call this as a AF core domain wall. And on the other hand, if we change the Q tilde to this situation, uh, we have uh, this kind of uh, spin texture across uh, domain wall. Here, uh, spin rotate continuously lying on uh, XY plane as a center of uh, the domain wall. If we plot uh, this texture in two, two dimension, we obtain this kind of texture schematically. Uh, in this case, we have a down domain and an up domain, but uh, we are the spin vanish here but for A equal domain wall. On the other hand, in the B equal, uh, we call this as a B equal domain wall because B phase appear locally at the center. Okay, and in that, in this case, uh, the spin lie on XY plane along domain wall, and if we have a final spin current, uh, spin should rotate helically like this. So this is a typical structure of a for domain wall and B equal domain wall. So next, uh, I'd like to explain. Uh, Generation mechanism of, of uh, eccentric fractional scanner, finally. Okay. So, in this case, we consider generation of isolated fractional scanner by Kelvin Helm force instability at a B equal domain wall. Uh, the, the reason for uh, so we consider Kelvin Helm force instability because uh, we, uh, we, if we have a finite spin current, there is a uh, relative velocity between up to domain and down domain, which can be analyzed as a Kelvin situation of Kelvin Helm mode to instability in terms of full dynamics. Okay, so this is a numerical simulation uh, uh, of the result, uh, and uh, we set as parameter uh, as like this, which corresponds to the realization, uh, ex experimental realization in this uh, at Kais. Uh, uh, by uh, Professor Choice Group, and uh, we set the parameter like this. And uh, here we have uh, uh, current in up domain in this direction and uh, down domain in this direction. Uh, you can see that uh, something happened. As I'd like to explain uh, step by step. Okay, this is the uh, initial step with flat domain wall. Uh, this, as, we, uh, as we said, uh, uh, spin as a helical structure. Uh, we put uh, uh, some initial small noise to trigger instability. Then uh, some, uh, uh, some mode with uh, high instability grow uh, exponentially, forming uh, some characteristic wavy pattern called the uh, Prata finger pattern, which is also uh, observed in the classical fluid dynamics. And, uh, but if, we, uh, if the policy appear, uh, dynamics become different. And in this case, uh, nucleated vortices understood as a scamium. And interestingly, uh, we observe a uh, strange structure. For example, here, uh, this structure uh, corresponds to the scamium with uh, fractional charge. I explain uh, it in the next slide. And uh, so uh, my, my claim is that this uh, structure can be understood as this scanion with a uh, fractional charge. Uh, in this system, uh, we have a so-called mami relation, which connects uh, the scanion charge with a uh, voltage winding number. Okay. And the uh, and, uh, Scanion charge is defined uh, regularly like this, and the voltage wind number uh, has been introduced uh, in the previous slide. And uh, according to this uh, relation, we can say that 
this skarmion should be uh, fractional. This is because uh, this is evidence of numerical evidence of this brain. Okay. Uh, Here is friends. Uh, uh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's time. Oh, uh, anyway, I, I can I can explain. Okay, okay. Uh, for example, uh, we can see uh uh, uh it's not good. <laughs> why? Uh, uh why? I don't know. Okay, okay, I I I can try to I, I try to explain. Okay, I try to explain firstly it's a simple one. Here uh, uh, but uh, grand color show the place uh, of uh, each domain. In this case, here is a down domain, so this is the phase of uh, this color shows the phase of uh, down domain. And you can see that branch cut terminate, two branch cut terminate on the, this domain. This domain corresponding to this domain, this scamion. And according to this relation, uh, scamion, scamion should be unity here, right? Integer. But uh, uh, there's no so fractional scamion disappear. <laughs> uh, for example, uh, so uh, how to say? Ah, okay, I, I choose this, okay? This. In this, uh, ah, okay, ah, this one, but a bit stronger. Uh, uh, I think completely different. Uh, for example, uh, you can see this, for example, here, uh, only single uh, branch cut in this scarmion. This corresponds to a uh, fraction, uh, scarmion with fractional charge, right? Be because of this relation. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I wonder for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so this kind of uh, scamion can be observed clearly in if we see transfer spin or m equals zero component, uh, density of m equals zero component as a C mark. Okay, this is the time evolution of the previous numerical simulation by plotting uh, uh, transfer spin density uh, because we. Because uh, since we prepare initially the BFR domain world, we have a transfer spin around the domain world initially. And uh, it uh, becomes unstable like this. And uh, and uh, ah, I, I didn't explain that. So in the in spin singularity, uh, we have a F core domain world. We, we have two types of domain world in this system. One is a F core domain world, and another one is a uh, B equal domain world. So uh, this can be an asset as a equal domain world. Uh, and uh, this is a schematic uh, uh, diagram of texture along uh, uh, in the scamion with different uh, scamion charts. This is the conventional scamion here. Uh, on the domain, around the domain world, we have a spin around the XY plane. And if we have a single charge, uh, uh, integer charge uh, the spin loaded uh, uh, once around the domain world. On the other hand, we have a uh, fractional charge uh, spin loaded on the XY plane by uh, half, half, and uh, we have opposite direction across the uh, air which make a uh, singularity. And uh, because uh, uh, since uh, we don't have spin density, at the F core, uh, this kind of structure observed as a singularity or a white spot in this animation. Uh, this is difficult to find uh, this quick movie, but I put here a uh, uh, snapshot. For example, uh, the previous, uh, this uh, CMAC corresponds to the scamium, fractional scamium in the previous slides. I, I, I'd like to. But here, this you can see C mark. Here is the spin singularity, and uh, here is the white spot like this. On the other hand, here is uh, this is uh, I, sh I should show the uh, base gradient, but, uh, but uh, I just uh, say that this is correspond to you know, S equal to uh, integer 
uh, scanning. We also we have also observed uh, zero charge uh, scanning. Uh, I think this is metastable stuff. So I can see the uh, little C mark on the Offside or on the offside? Offside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Are they two? Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, is also uh, fraction of scanning, yeah. but this is a small version of scanning. Yeah, yeah. Scanning, I think. So you can see that clearly uh, there are a lot of uh, spin singularity here, here, yeah. and even along the uh, domain wall here, here, here. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. So according to this new mechanical expression, uh, number of fractional scanning looks larger than the number of uh, integers coming. But, uh, I, don't, I don't know the reason, but uh, it's, it's such a, a ratio between number of uh, rational and integers variant should be depend on the physical parameters such as uh, quantum scale six. Uh, around the mm -hmm. uh, singular point, and what you do by the anti it looks like a pull-up for spin vertex. Um, if you follow oh, like was spin vertex uh, here, uh, yeah. but the base spin is rotating. Basically, here uh, there's a winding number in the up component here, right? And there's no winding number here for down component. I'm thinking about the circulation around the, the, the core. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, that area. Then, if I follow the spin direction, the spin is rotating once. Ah, you mean winding number for spin? Yes. It looks like a pull up for a spin. Yeah. This is difficult. For example, this is just a schematic diagram uh, uh, imaged by this kind of structure. So, for example, but this, I think this is a qualitative equation. Okay. Uh, in this case, uh, I don't know what. You mean uh, uh, what? What's polar uh, polar vortex mean? But the uh, uh, circulation in the spin the singular point has a polar phase, right? And this is the A phase, uh, yeah. uh, uh, easy plane pneumatic phase. A, A phase, yes. Zero magnetic. Zero magnetic, yes. But around that point, yeah, I can see the spin is rotating once. Yes, for this this it's came out figure. So yeah, yeah. So how to say? But this is not. Uh, for example, uh, this, this is com uh, uh, complicated because totally uh, the spin uh, wind uh, half of the sphere once uh, with this thing right here, and the spin uh, can change uh, drastically around here. But the spin vanish here, so it's confusing. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's my answer. But uh, yeah, it looks yeah. Spin. It looks uh, spin both things. So, uh, so usually the Skirmian charge is defined for a smooth spin configuration. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. How do you That's define it here? So, so that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. So, but uh, I, I agree. So basically, so this formula itself is uh, it's very defined. Or continuous uh, uh, distribution, but to explain this structure, uh, this is uh, convenient and uh, physically uh, not uh, uh, so not inconsistent. I think. So physically, uh, basically, quantitatively is correct. <laughs> for example, for example, we can uh, calculate uh, this integral by avoiding this area. For example, then uh, we should obtain a similar. Charge, for example, but uh, but basically, uh, I think this is convenient to explain the uh, uh, yeah this uh, property of this curve. Yeah. Oh, but uh, it's still continuous question. But the, uh, I I still confused about uh, confused about the topological stability because uh, the norm of the, the spin is vanishing near the vortex, so. Under the small deformation, this how does this Kermian number is very predictive? And this is very yeah, well, pro, for example, we can explain. I know, for I example, know. Uh, protect by this winding number. For example. We have a single winding number here. Then uh, the Kermian charge should be determined inside this. So there, 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 there might be different experiments, but one experiment. <laughs> You think voltage the winding number is still very defined? Then very well defined because this is here only up component. 
。一、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。それ、デスタイズとフレクショナルです。So, so、uh, what I say is、uh, we can observe fractions coming as a、uh, CMAC like this. Okay. So, it is interesting to compare、uh, this phenomenon with a similar、uh, system. Uh, uh, and uh, Professor Sibon Kim uh, proposed uh, uh, generation of skarmion due to spin current instability. At a magnetic domain or in easy access magnets,、uh, written by this paper. And、uh, they,、uh, they show that the、uh, uh, spin current along the domain wall up, between up to down domain and down domain called the generation of the scarmion, but it is、uh, scarmion with a, a unit charge. And、uh, on the other hand,、uh, as I showed, Uh, before, this is a system of two component DC, but、uh, if we apply a、uh, pseudo spin representation, representation by considering first and second component as an up order parameter and a down order parameter, we can construct, we can say that this vortex,、uh, we have like a scarmion, but this is also a scarmion with integer charge. So,、uh, in that sense, so, so in, in spin 1 BC, scavion generation in the spin 1 BC is unique to spin 1 system. Okay, so finally, I'd like to understand the、uh, situation. I'd like to set、uh, two important questions to this problem. First one is what causes such a non asymmetric, eccentric structure? And the second one is what is the physical mechanism to allow the spin singularity? Uh, answering your question. Okay.、Uh, first uh, uh, question to、uh, answer the first question can be a、uh, spin interaction. And uh, uh, spin in the presence of spin interaction imposes a restriction for vortex winding number, namely LM in the axiometric stake. For example, if we first、uh, assume an axiometric stake written by this form, Uh, with uh, uh, winding number,、uh, we have a restriction on the winding number,、uh, namely vortex winding rule. This is similar to the、uh, current velocity rule、uh, I explained、uh, in the previous slide. And、uh, then we can see that in this case,、uh, here is the up component as a single quantum vortex, which corresponds to L plus equal to each one, and、uh, down component as no velocity corresponds to. Zero winding number, and、uh, it's not trivial, but uh, uh, so m, m equals zero component exists along domain wall, but this can be understood as zero. Then、uh, it is impossible to、uh, satisfy this equation. This means、uh, this structure should violate asymmetry, rotational symmetry. Okay, and、uh, this kind of、uh, vortex winding rule has been、uh, applied to the、uh, no asymmetric structure of、uh, elliptic vortex in this.、Uh, Paper. So, this kind of, this kind of、uh, can be understood as some kind of universal concept、um, to characterize、uh, vortex structure in mass components.、Uh, second question is what is the physical mechanism to allow the,、uh, so、to allow the spin singularity?、Uh, as I explained uh, before, uh, energy, high level energy of double equivalent vortex, vortex is larger than,、uh, larger than the two. Single quantum vortex. Therefore,、uh, so, so single、uh, fractional scanning is stabilized because、uh, if we have a、uh, NV equal one, and then it becomes、uh, one over half. And the、uh, second uh, reason uh, to stabilize the singularity is uh, uh, that uh, 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 described uh, uh, explain in terms of concentration <laughs> energy. As we uh, explain, uh, as I explained before,、uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, order set in the vortex core. Uh, here uh, in the vortex core, uh, uh, other order set is occupied to save or reduce condensation energy. In this case, we have a nematic 
order here. Please reduce the uh, condensation energy effectively. And, uh, the, and the answer to the second question can be that the, can be that the decrease in the hydrodynamic uh, the condensation energy allows the existence of spin singularity inside the um, eccentric structures that's coming. Okay, let me summarize. So, uh, okay, it's almost time, right? So, yeah, this is yeah. okay. Thank you very much. Uh, it's uh, okay. I, 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 okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, main finding is that eccentric fractional scammer can be generated by KHI as a magnet domain wall in spin 1 BC of Richie Matton. And this is a schematic, uh, uh, schematic of eccentric fractional scammer, and this is an image simulation. And uh, I'd like to skip this because, uh, okay, anyway. So, uh, one uh, important, uh, interesting prospect is uh, what happened in the, uh, so uh, I'm interested in the experimental realization in the uh, lithium, basic. Uh, okay, well, my, anyway, so I, I, I'd like to stop here. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry. Well, Neil, you can turn from the audience. That's good. Yeah, so I'm actually wondering, uh, I mean, so maybe I, I'm missing your point here, but so are we, are you suggesting that the eccentric fractional scramion can be uh, stabilized for uh, the entire uh, frac uh, ferromagnetic condensate or, I mean, are you suggesting that there's a particular region in the uh, region of the Base diagram for the ferromagnetic phase, which can be stabilized. I've never uh, uh, investigated the stability uh, exactly, but the uh, stability of uh, this structure can depend on the parameter. For example, in some parameter regime, it can be unstable, but in some parameter regime, it can be stable. I don't know. Because I have never Thank you for a nice talk. Uh, I'm just wondering about the conservation of the topological number in this case. So initially there is a single domain number, which means the topological number is zero. Maybe. Initial state. Initial, oh, initial uh, state. Uh, uh, but the many scomiums are generated, which uh, means that uh, there are many in the topological uh, numbers now. So how can I understand the uh, okay. conservation of topological number in this? I think the story of conservation of the directory with respect to spin texture can be uh, described in, I think, this paper. But uh, uh, here I'd like to explain uh, in terms of vorticity uh, or circulation. Initial state has a vortex state around the uh, domain world because we have a relative velocity between two components. And uh, such a vortex, vortex charge emitted to the bulk which corresponds to the vortex winding number in part. Then uh, totally uh, vortex charge uh, comes up during this dynamics. Okay. So, so basically, initially there is a vortex uh, or circulation around uh, domain world. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, does this is that this formula uh, can you generate thermally and somehow can we summary thermally? I mean, can we expect something like uh, uh, uh kind of <clears throat> stuff? May, may, maybe if the parameter setting is uh, good for stabilizing the uh -huh. uh -huh. scale, because this is just a vortex in some sense. So, uh, for example, I mean, what what means? Summary in two dimension? Or? Yeah, in two dimension. Ah, yeah. So, for example, uh, KT, KT, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, this can be, but uh, I'm not sure. So, because this is just a vortex. So, uh, I should question if you're the same question, but uh, yes, at the beginning, it seems that a no aspirin, uh, uh, but then uh, after some time, it, uh, you have this uh, uh, fractional. Spermia. Is there any relation between the uh, direction of the boundary and uh, the branch cut uh, for this uh, fraction of the uh, spermia? Uh, you, you mean that it's. So, uh, you consider uh, you mentioned about this? Yes. So, uh, directly? 
Yeah. Uh, for, for yeah, example, this or this, I'm giving. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, you see that, uh, uh, some uh, direction of the branch code and the uh, direction of this uh, domain. Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure about your opinion, but basically, this would be branch code here. Yeah. Uh, branch line, because uh, initially we have a uh, current along domain walls, right? So, uh, so I mean, I just wonder initially if you have a web defined uh, domain to spin off or from the left and spin down, yeah, yeah right, and then uh, you have an uh, interface that you can use, yes. and then uh, I don't see any in, in, in branch, but uh, at the uh, beginning, uh, ah, in, in the beginning, uh, yeah, beginning, we uh, branch cut and at the domain wall. Ah, just domain wall, because uh, as I said, uh, the vortex, vortex charge. Should be charged around uh, domain wall. So accordingly, a branch cut end at the uh, interface initially. Ah, I see. So can you make the uh, two half half uh, scorpion and make a you nice know, multiplication? Ah, uh, one to nice. three to something like that. Um, it it. It should be like maybe yeah, maybe yeah, maybe yeah, possible yeah. scenario. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need to interpret all the kind of thing in your simulation. I have never seen, but I, uh, there might be. With, I I, I, I couldn't find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, should be. Yeah. So if there is no option, you have to pull cancer from Hagon and some Hagon you made. Yeah. So, but here you use the uh, three components to each that we have this essential component. Is it impossible to have these communities in two components? I think my answer is maybe no. Possible. Yeah, Im impossible. Yeah, impossible because the uh, yeah, existence of a uh, core structure, uh, I mean, M equals zero component occupied in the domain work, that's such an effect uh, is crucial to describe this structure. So I think spin one. So three components is crucial, maybe. Yeah. And last case, and the little question like what kind of interaction for the spin one, like piping plus some. Ah, I have to go back to. Ah. Wait, So in this case, we consider this here. The case is C. Why I see the C is over C N. C is a spin interaction, and he we consider negative. Interaction which corresponds to the phenomenal order. I mean, uh, this is negative, so it's, uh, it's better to have finite S spin. Okay, so this is the phenomenon. So I just like Heidelberg type or asymmetric. Asymmetric is not required in this case, only the. Uh, uh, you, you mean uh, analogy between uh, with the uh, Heidelberg model? Yeah. yeah. So this phase can be corresponds to Heidelberg model because this is easy plane. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, here, here is a Heidelberg model. Because uh, here is an easy plane, and here is an easy axis. So here is a, a spin and a sort of in three dimensions. But in this case, uh, basically, uh, size of topological effects infinity. So it's, uh, it, it can be realized under some boundary condition, but in bulk, it is. Uh, can be safe as an unsafe. But anyway, so but I think basically we need uh, this phase to nucleate uh, eccentric fluctuation. And uh, I'm not sure about this phase. I'm sorry. So the pair, it was very interesting. So we thank again for the professor Takeo for interesting talk.